Hi, everybody, and happy Monday. Welcome to Ozarks Live. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you, too. How you doing? Uh, I've decided to stop walking. You just, you just I mean, stop? I, no, no, not, I mean, not walking just around here, but I'm... Did, did you read, like, over the weekend, the Greenways Trail? Oh, yeah, the it's little... An alligator. Yeah, I know. An yeah. alligator. Now, you know, if you remember, what, a couple years ago, a boa constrictor was loose in the Ozarks, and... Then you go way back and the cobras that were loose in Springfield. So that's your What's rationale. Going on? I don't know, but I would not have reacted the way that those people did. Somebody had an in them to reach down there and pick that thing up. No, I held a baby alligator once many yes, years ago, I've, and they are tough. Well, we, we've had them on the show, and you notice they always tape the mouths closed mm -hmm. on those things. That one I'm going to guess there was no tape with happening tape. with that little Not the picture yeah. that I saw. They're no. just holding it like la 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 la. <laughs> uh, no. Where's mama is my question. That was a little tight, right? You know, I, yeah. I, I mean, I don't know if it was someone's pet that they let go, which was not a good idea or, or what. But you, yeah, you hope there's not mama sitting around somewhere going, no. where's my kid? No, that's not one you want to get in between. They get annoyed. Um, so outside of that, did the weekend mess you up at all time-wise? Like, did it mess with your I mean, it body didn't, clock at all or any of that? Because it, it did messes only, me up every year. From the idea of, you know, I, if I'm just kind of doing something and I think it's it's like, oh, it's 5.30. No, it's not at 6.30. Or, yeah, so, yeah, it messes it up that way. As far as sleep, yeah, I don't. Attention. I don't know what it is about that one hour, and we yeah. talk about this every time there is a, a change, you know, the time change, but, and I'm glad for longer days. You know, I want the sun to come back, sure. I want summer, I want spring and all of that, but there's something about that that just messes me up. First of all, Sunday's just a lost day yeah. for me, because you wake up and go, oh my gosh, you know, it's, it's like, actually like, mm -hmm. yeah. It's yeah, 1045 with, or whatever instead of well, 945. Well, yeah, with all the electronic equipment we have now, it, it sneaks it in on you. You don't even have to do anything. Right, but the other clocks that don't reset yeah. themselves will mess your world up. That's where you and, go, oh, it's yeah. 430. No, it's not. It's 530, but yeah, you forgot to so. reset that one. I think I'm over it now, but it did mess me up. Like last night, I got in bed and realized I'm just in bed too early. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just way too early right now. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I'm I'm over it. I'm better. But Good. you know, Mondays. We're it does right mess with it people. I mean, they have all kinds of statistics out there. You uh, know, when you do this, you wouldn't think one hour would mess you up that much. But I'm easily messed up. I guess. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay, we've got a great show say, for you this afternoon. Yeah, we do. The Springfield Little Theater is here with a look into their production of Disney's The Little Mermaid Jr. And we're turning back time again today on Ozarks Live. <laughs> yes, we yeah. are. But before, yeah, before we get to it, we're going to show you what is on our radar. Right. Okay, I'm going to start, and this is news out of my home state of Arkansas and my alma mater, University of Arkansas Fayetteville. Okay. Uh, Razorback baseball is a big deal. You ever been yeah. down to Baum Stadium? No, I have it's not. It's really fun. Yeah, I went but last year. You can year. hear the cheering all the way up here. Pretty much it's you can. It's a big deal. Okay, so there are luxury boxes at Baum Stadium. They're all spoken for. Apparently, they have been spoken for for the last 10 years. Oh. There's a long waiting list and no turnover. Okay, so sorry if you're not one of those people or have friends, but there is a new concept for your baseball viewing pleasure in Fayetteville, portable repurposed shipping containers. Check oh, this out. What? Yeah, it's the Razorback boxes. These provide about 300 square feet of multi-purpose use. They include a TV, a grill, a leather sofa, and an 8 by 20 observation deck on top that'll accommodate 25 people. Can you believe that? There's I also like I do too. There's also a food prep area, a refrigerator, and a microwave. So it's got pretty much almost anything you need. These things are available to rent starting this weekend. Okay, for SEC games on Thursday and Sunday, they're going to set you back $1250. But it's about 25 bucks per person. Apparently, they come yeah. with like 50 tickets. Divide okay? it up. Oh. Divide it up. A Friday and Saturday, SEC games, 1500 But for a non-conference midweek game, you can grab a Razorback box for you and your friends for about $600. So, yeah, there are apparently two of them right now with a third one to come. So if you see the shipping container yeah. um, and you didn't rent it yourself, make friends with the people who did. 
thought well, we all uh, have. Yeah. yeah, of course. I know, right? Just <laughs> And they'll probably, now that you have mentioned it, they're all going to be rented out, so it'll be just like the boxes anyway. It'll be probably. So there will be a waiting list for those, but too. But anyway, there is a good idea. Yeah, I thought that was really cool. A great, a great purpose for a shipping container that otherwise might go unused or to the junkyard, make a luxury box out of it. Or, Some people make homes out of them. Or you just bring the fences in by 10, 15 feet by just lining the fence with them. And, oh, Call them up, see what yeah. they say. I like that. Uh, you know, if you plan to cook in that luxury box, you might want to take along a new spice, not garlic, not thyme, but umami. Mm -hmm. You heard of that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's the fifth taste that we detect besides sweet, sour, bitter, and salty. Yep, apparently it's, it is. Yeah, yeah, it's a savory taste often found in meats and broths, and now you can buy it in a bottle at Trader Joe's. The umami seasoning blend combines salt, onion, and mustard with er, you know, earthy flavors like porcini. Or is it porcini? Porcini. 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 It should have an H in it, shouldn't it? It should, but see, they spell things weird <laughs> yeah, over here. Okay. I don't get it. And uh, white button mushroom powder. The umami spice is a big hit. People are adding it to vegetarian dishes, and it's almost like adding meat. Apparently so. Real mm -hmm. savory, real yummy. Yeah. Yep, yep. yeah. Scientists have debated whether umami is actually a basic taste, but scientists say it has its own taste receptors, so... Yes, it is. They say it's that thing that you taste really, really good in some foods, but you just can't quite figure out what it is. It's that savory. Sure. You know, so I think the mushroom has something to do with this. I'd love to try that spice. Wouldn't that be tasty? We need to do that. I know. We need a Trader Joe's. We could we put Trader it on Joe's. anything. Yeah, but you can get it. I'll I like bring savory some back. Taste I do too. All right. It's All my right. favorite. All right, I got something for you that's interesting. We all know about the wine sommeliers. You know, they come up, they help you pick your wine, they make re recommendations for you depending on what you're serving. Um, now, though, there is a sommelier for just about everything, okay? Really? Everything. Case in point, an article in the New York Daily News telling us about mustard hot sauce and honey sommeliers for real really? okay this guy in the picture okay. nicholas coleman he can help you out at Italy in new york city the one that mario batali started up the big giant Italy. when you need just the right olive oil he'll let you taste it you can discuss with him whether this olive oil is for cooking or for dipping but you know you wouldn't want to get the wrong one but not everybody's really happy with this um, there's a guy named John Fisher at the Culinary Institutes of America. He says, if you call yourself a sommelier, at least do a job that's involving wine, <laughs> okay? Because the French word apparently does translate to wine waiter. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, I didn't even realize that. I just figured I that it either. did translate to something like that. But So the honey sommelier, she can explain the difference in honeys made with different flowers, okay? As for the mustard expert, there's one detailed in this article in a shop on the Upper West Side of New York uh -huh. City. That person can recommend the perfect spread for mac and cheese or a grilled cheese sandwich, some eggs, some hard boiled eggs, maybe some deviled eggs, appetizers. I mean, the last thing you would want to do is offend your guests <laughs> with, with the wrong mustard. Did you not talk to an expert before you picked up this mustard? Um, I've yeah, never so, mixed mustard with scrambled eggs or anything. Well, like some that. people do. Well, I, mean, I guess some people like mustard on like fried fish, which is yes. really really good. Yes, it is. I put mustard in my chili. Yeah, and that gives it just a little extra exactly. spice to it. So people are funny about that, and you might yeah. go in there and have somebody come up and say, "May I help you with your mustard?" And you're like, "Well, I never needed help with mustard before," but in some places they have an expert for that. By the way, just so you know. Uh, blueberry blossom honey is the go-to for ricotta, pine nuts, and mint. Uh, that's what Make I've a been mental missing. note of that. All right, but if you're serving hazelnut gelato, you're going to need buckwheat honey. Okay, hazelnut gelato, buckwheat honey. How could you even dream of anything but that? Oh, Philistine. <laughs> <laughs> Brought that up just, last week. That's so a weekly thing it, with you. It is. I, I, I try to throw that in whenever I, Philistine, whenever right, I can. Yeah. It, right. it, but, you know, when you look at sommeliers, it, it, you know, you said the, the honey sommelier can tell you what flowers and this is. It's like, okay, yeah. 
<laughs> I mean, how am I going to? No, you're wrong. That's a daisy. I don't know. Maybe it tastes yeah. like blueberry or something. I so. don't know. But anyway, if these people approach you, <laughs> let them answer your question. It'll make them feel great. All right. Coming up, Archie Donahoe is back from Perkins. He's right over there cooking in our kitchen. Yeah, don't go away. Ozarks Live is just getting started.